Okay, so in this problem, we're asked to subtract two fractions, one half minus two ninths. Now you can tell that two and nine are not the same number, meaning that they don't have a common denominator. Now in order to find the least common denominator, we can list out the multiples of two and nine and find the multiple that is the lowest in common. So how did I list out all these multiples? I did two times one, two times two, so on and so forth for all of the multiples, I got all the way to 2 times 10. Now I did the same thing for 9, but I didn't list all of them because I know that 18, I recognize that 18 and 18 are the least common multiples of 2 and 9. Now once I have the number that I'm going to turn into the least common denominator, I can now convert both of the fractions. So we'll take, we'll take 1 half. And we know that it has to turn into a common denominator of 18. Now, when we take 2 and we turn it into 18, we've multiplied it by 9. Now, if I multiply the denominator by 9, I'll also have to multiply the numerator by 9, giving me 9 over 18. Now, we'll do the same thing for 2 over 9. If we know that the common denominator has to be 18, to get from 9 to 18, I multiplied by 2. And so the same for the numerator, I'll have to multiply by 2, giving me 4 over 18. Now that we have a common denominator for both of the fractions, we can subtract them. We have 9 over 18 minus 4, oops, 4 over 18. Now our common denominator stays the same, we don't subtract them. And we take our numerators and we subtract those. So we have 9 minus 4, giving us 5. So our final answer is 5 over 18. Now I want to show you one other way to find a common denominator. It might not be the least common denominator, but it will work. Um, you can take 1 half minus 2 ninths. Now to get a common denominator, you can multiply both of the denominators. 2 times 9. And that will be a common denominator for both of the fractions. Now, the numerators, you'll multiply it by the opposite denominator. So I'll take 1, and I'll multiply it by 9. And I'll take 2, and I'll multiply it by 2. And don't forget to subtract both of the numbers. So now, our fraction is a denominator of 18. And we'll have 1 times 9, which is 9, minus 2 times 2, which is 4. And now it's just simple subtraction. We have 9 minus 4, which is 5. And our common denominator stays the same, 18. So both ways give us the same answer for this question.